Hello my friends, welcome to another episode of Current Travels and Other Stories, aka Citos. And here we are at Fort Morgan in the state of Alabama. Uh, this is uh, recorded during the Labor Day weekend of 2022. And today uh, it is around 86 degrees. Uh, Humidity level makes it feel like it is 93. Still hot, but not that uh, overwhelmingly hot as it has been the past uh, month where I am been living in Georgia. So, this is Fort Morgan, uh, previously known as Fort Bowyer. 1813 to 1821 let's confirm that information here if you want to keep reading please uh, pause the video here so evidently uh, the British have control of this area <coughs> we after the American Revolutionary War of the War of Independence in the United Kingdom. Yeah, there have been, there have been a lot of battle. And if they knew <coughs> what the coast, what the coast and the Gulf here in Alabama. Sorry about that. I had to pause a little bit um, to clear my throat. So, if the British were aware of the resources that Alabama had beyond uh, land, uh, looking into the 20th century, they would have noticed uh, that they had resources, as I said, be beyond the land. And of course, the seawater, um, and of course, fisher, fisheries and places that they can deploy for fishing. They will also have found uh, that the coast of Alabama itself also has oil reserves. Then we. Let me show the bath in there. Alright, there it is. That's right, that was oil platforms next to this uh, fort here. So yeah, the lost uh, kingdom to the United States. Uh, pretty much cut off the uh, United Kingdom, the British Empire from resources. Include also in the future potential oil platforms. All right, so this is part of history. Disagree or not, it's still part of history. History, as I said. It's not about the good, but also the bad. And that's that's a fact of life. You take it as it is. Do we need to keep moving? We are a little past uh, noon, so it's around early 1.30, 1.20. 
Let's see him over there. We're going to be here later, but first we're going to see around the park. Uh, we got a... Some very rich uh, lunch. Actually, was, the lunch was okay. We had a, a mafi, mahi fish stuffed with uh, crab meat. A little bit of hoisin sauce. I don't know how you spell that. A rice and red beans. Uh, the beans had uh, a little bit of sausages in them. But uh, the waiter offered me, the waitress, I'm sorry, offered me. peanut uh, butter pie and that was really exclusively stinking rich so I'm trying to burn all that down before I head back to the hotel I'm probably gonna stay around so I don't get uh, I, I'm not gonna eat anything after that that's all I have to say there you go Nineteen eighty or the World War One, I, I guess. Oh, they, they were removing them. Okay, yes, I thought they were actually using them. I guess they keep using it until the Spanish Civil War, but not the Spanish Civil War, the Spanish American War. But after that, I think that I were over with that. There's a battery here. Yeah, that looks uh, a little bit more modern. I'm gonna walk on top of that. Try to let's see if I can. Oh, there's a crab in there. It's a albino crab. Hello, friend. I'm gonna hurt you. Nope. Oh, there was more in there. Oh, I didn't show you. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah, there's a whole family of crabs in there. There you go. There's one, two. Oh, the third one is down there. So we have three. Family of three. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little better view of the coast. Yeah. It's an old platforms all over the place. Yeah, I think it's a little bit warmer than the radar says it is. Really warm. All right. Continue from full as they're coming in. Some action going on. Yeah, I guess they're doing some sort of stunt action in there. No idea. weird I 
Yeah, we're gonna keep reading this uh, can pause the video. We're gonna I'm not sure I have a whole I don't think I'm gonna be able to read all that but at some point pause at any time. <clears throat> So many old rigs around here. storage place yeah I guess it's storage only here you know what it says there it says 1983 sorry some kid This four has to offer. All right, just spot number one and two right there. Let's see what it is. Remembering, remembrance. Never stare at a cannon in front of a cannon. You never know somebody's on the other side. This is all there. Yeah, this is work because there's some fishes in there. It's a good thing I brought my crops instead of my hiking shoes. It's a little bit. No, it's a little bit it's pretty slimy. Uh, let's see water seeping through. 
I think this sport is going to be around with us for a long time. There's a hurricane coming in. So far, so good. Alright, let's start here. Yeah, let's start. Let's start over there. Okay, it's closed. All right, whatever you say. I guess all that water is. Uh, from, uh, some big old AC unit. Even this place cool. Nope, it's not cool to the top, so I don't know. There's no seawater coming from the top, right? Okay, I think it's a, some sort of briefing room or chapel. Or both, I don't know. Yeah, this has some water pumps. I guess they're keeping the water away, but unfortunately it looks like it failed. <clears throat> but again, whoever is in charge of maintaining this place, I think it deserves some kudos because again, history, as I said before, it's not about it was good or bad, it's just trying to know about it so we can avoid the same horrors and errors in the future. Because at the end of the day, we're all want to be happy, you know? And that's the way it is. And that's, that's the way it is, that's what I'm trying to say. It's nice and cool in here. And you know what? I think I'm gonna stay around this area until uh, the sun comes down a bit and the day cools off. And that's the bottom line. Anyway, let's keep going. I oh. Those mosquitoes are huge. Oh my god. Sorry about that. I tripped. I almost uh, lost my balance there. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, there's another cannon here. Big old cannon.
this is after his HDU. I see more rears on the mobile bay coastline. There's another exit over there. I think so. Uh, I guess. Oh boy. This is gonna be so much fun. Trying to get back through that entrance. So full of water. Sea water. Then they're trying to pump it out. You see the that blue hose over there? Probably trying to pump all that water out. It's full of fishes also. I would, I would suck if the fishes are essential. It's like kind of like hundreds of them, hundreds. Holy cow. There's a lot of Probably those are all tankers down there. I count like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At least ten of them. That's incredible. Let me show you up close. I'm more zooming in, not up close. Yeah. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna be careful what I'm walking because I'm just walking on crooks and then we probably get into the museum and see what else. Uh, yeah, we can go down there first and then walk down to the museum. So far, so good. The only issue here is it's too hot. I probably was not wearing the proper footwear. I'm better off just walking with a uh, Working boots or boots for you know rubber boots, perhaps. Yeah. It's the battery, the poor tail. As I said before, you want to see this read, you can pause the video. Um, just trying to catch everything up. It's just too hard to sit down and read everything at once. I'm probably going to sit with you later and read. Do, 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 do. See those hands? Some kids trying to play goof around. At least one show that the spam ham, slap ham, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then show this to any horror stories related videos because there's no
crazy stuff going on and I pray that does not happen at all. all right. Anyway. Sit back. The ordinance storage. See what we get here. The ordinance charge. Alright, so that was it. That was for Morgan. Uh, between this one and the other fort, uh, it's across the mobile bay. I think the other one is a little bit better maintained. Uh, although, uh, we are where I was visiting that other fort uh, a couple of years ago before there was a big, big ice storm that like affected the whole area around the Gulf, and parts of Texas and all the way up to Oklahoma, so uh, be aware, uh, maybe I just caught it while they were trying to rebuild it. I'm going to the museum now, we're not done yet, so stay tuned. But I missed the spot, so let's see what this is all about. As I, I told you, I'm trying to get more bang for my buck. I want to see everything. So there's supposed to be an airstrip here and another bat, a couple more batteries and some storage area. Uh, I see the airstrip from here. I may be wrong. So I guess this is one of those old uh, planes from World War One. I don't think they will be carrying construction equipment, but maybe just carrying a couple uh, people like from Washington and stuff like that, like generals or colonels flying in that plane so they can get in here quick. Um, so here we are. Um, it looks to be, yeah, I think it's a mound over there. That's supposed to be the landing. So battery I may be wrong there's some homes down there so I guess there's yeah, people keep walking down there um I don't think this is I may be wrong I don't know yeah, I think this was a landing strip at some point, like a hundred years ago. Uh, I think at some point they also put on some uh, pavement, but uh, probably the storms through the decades eroded it. Yeah, it's just a small strip, land district is for small propeller planes, not we're talking about fighter jets or any of that. It's all propeller planes from 100 years ago. From the World War One era, maybe. There's some properties there, I don't think I'm gonna show you too much in detail. I think there's some private property now. But uh yeah. I mean if it was private I, I'm gonna try. 
and I'm even gonna try it. All right, so we are almost there. Yeah, there's a battery over there. Um, yeah. I, th I think you should also bring pro propellant because I thought it was so hot and they're so dry. But when I walk into that uh, brine inside that fort, uh, there was a lot of mosquitoes hitting my legs. So, this is a piece of advice. I'm just gonna take shots from the distance because I think all these batteries were built at the same time period so I don't think gonna be any difference between them it's just the names of each one of these batteries yep she's a four Morgan Again, you can pause the video at any moment. If you want to read this? I'm just gonna make some post-ups on every uh, each retro I can find here. Exactly 158 and then probably a week from that siege. Yeah, it says no trespassing, so yeah. That place is dilapidated. I have no idea something fierce. It's probably uh, falling apart. Anyway, you're gonna leg a small walk and see what else is of interest here if not um, probably uh, gonna cut to the museum and wrap the video Ooh. somebody doesn't like this design around August so you can imagine I don't know it was too hot or too warm so it was like the weather like this oh buddy I wonder everybody surrendered that quick or they they finished the war quick I don't know I don't know what I'm saying anymore it's just too hot <laughs> Barely blowing in the wind. There's some cannon there. Battery Bailey. There's more information here if you want to read it. Check it.
I think I found the lighthouse. Uh, there's a lighthouse, I think it's on the other side of the uh, mobile bay. And it is quite quite a distance. I guess we have to take a, a ferry. I think it's the ferry going down there. And uh, I don't know how, how often it moves around. So I think that will be our task tomorrow, getting to the ferry and uh, pay a visit to that lighthouse. And so far, that's, that's what I have been doing for the past uh, couple of trips I have been doing outside the state. It's just going through the lighthouse, uh, any lighthouse that is nearby. I, I do that and see what, what it can be, can be seen, of course. Definitely. I see more do to do to do list. All right, let's continue.
<laughs> we always told him, don't take, a, don't take a knife to a gunfight. What about a sword? took control of Fort Morgan for the Confederate States during the American Civil War. Confederate troops came to Fort Morgan at this time the battery was banned. In 1895, the Rest of the Union was called, called batteries. These areas are posted on the brochure maps. Battery Schink, Battery Thomas, Battery Dupertel. That was Fort Morgan. Um, I tried to do more research. I know there is a ferry nearby. Probably gonna hit that one tomorrow, and uh, probably see across the bay what it's all about. What else is to see? I also need to see where's the lighthouse. If there's still a lighthouse, and uh, yeah, we will see what is gonna happen. And that will be in the next episode, so thank you so much for watching, and safe travels. Have a good day.